Next patient, what do you think this is? Oh, this is a geographic tongue. Uh, good guess, but it's not. How about you guys tell me in the comments what you think this condition is and I'm going to drop the answer at the end of this video. Both of these conditions are often confused but they are not the same. But it's not uncommon to see both of these together. Take a look at your tongue and you'll see as well as being a strong muscle, it's covered in these little bumps called papillae. These are what we call our taste buds. If those papillae wear away, then you may get geographic tongue. It's named this way because it has this map-like appearance. But there's patches of atrophic tissue with these white borders. They can change in size, shape, and location over time. Geographic tongue can be painful, particularly in the presence of spicy food and alcohol. However, this condition is different. We don't know exactly what causes it, but it's characterized by these deep crevices in the tongue. It's not typically painful unless if food gets trapped in those crevices and causes inflammation. And that's why patients are encouraged to regularly scrub their tongue to remove the debris. The name of this condition is a fissured tongue. It's actually considered a variant of normal